Hey everyone, I ended last video at 87 LP in Bronze 1 with a score of 16 and 4. In the first part of the series I learned that I should not let my teammates bait me into bad fights which are not winnable and if necessary let them die and walk away. I also learned that I should respect the Shen ultimate much more. There were a few moments where I committed too long onto a target which I could not kill because of the ultimate and died as soon as Shen joined the fight. If you enjoyed this series so far make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to my channel to not miss any further content. With that being said let's start the video. We are now in game 21 with 87 LP, only 2 wins away from silver 4. After getting level 3 I saw a kill opportunity on the echo, where I hit a max range Q flash charm to secure the first blood. I waited in the fog of war to get my level 6 and then my top lane and I killed the Mordekaiser. We went for the drag and decided not to chase Xayah since we had no vision on 3 enemy player. Ramos tried to finish off the Ori, however I was near to save her from death. I used my ult as a gap closer to the Ramos. Urgot and I trapped the enemy team inside the jungle and let them face check the bushes. I was looking for a flank for my team but I stumbled right into Echo. Echo CC'd me with his bubble, which caused me to almost die. I barely escaped with the help of my ult and the portal belt. After getting a free Baron, I saw a great engage opportunity to chunk out two people at once. My team was there to clean up and that's how we won the first game of the day. In game 2 I was invaded by the Morgana, but nothing happened. I saw a gank opportunity on the Ari, however I got hit by her charm. The ignite finished me off and I had no way to escape. A full clear later I ganked the Yorick. Garen did not walk up to help me. I secured the kill with my ultimate. Ari decided to greet for tower plates and that's how I saw my chance to get the 800 gold shutdown. We had a man advantage on the drake fight, that's why I pinged my team to go in. I ulted out as soon as Samira stacked her combo. Lux hit a 3 man ult instantly winning us the fight. After seeing Xayah getting hit by the charm and the everfrost I hesitated to go in. I listened to my teammates pings and went in again to take her down. We tried to hold our base but we failed by going in one at a time. From now on it was easy game for the enemies. We stood no chance to defend our base and the enemies finished our nexus. In game 23 I tried to make plays early on because I knew Nasus is eventually going to outscale me. I secured first blood with the help of Ari and preemptively flashed Akali's E to not get hit by her shuriken. After securing the first dragon I saw Akali recalling and I planned to interrupt it so she had to stay in lane. She did not respect my burst damage which got me the second kill of the game. I placed the herald mid lane to break open the base and secured the second drake with the help of my djinn. Ari and I tried to get a catch on the bot lane, however after getting exhausted we had to retreat. After losing vision on me, the enemy team decided to chase the Ari, which set me up with a double kill. I knew the jungler was inside the bush, so I assist Pingen to collapse on him. After seeing that my Ari ran into three people, I tried to help her to get out. Unfortunately, I was outskilled by the Garen. Anyone shot me. Later that game, the Nasus got caught again right before the Drake spawn. 
My Ilawi, however, decided it would be a great idea to run straight into four people, baiting in my team into a horrible fight. With only me and Auri left, we stood no chance to defend the Nexus. Unfortunately, I did not record game 24. It was a complete stomp against the Marseille, where the enemy surrendered at 22 minutes. In game 25, we invaded Kane level 1 and forced him to use his flash. I saw that Talon was very low level 2, so I decided to go for a gank. However, I wasted much time doing so. I did get a return kill though. A couple of minutes later, I walked on Vision and was trapped by Talon and Kane. The enemy Samira was clearly overextending. Getting the bounty was no problem for me. My problem this game was that I was solely focused on killing people. I barely CS'd, even though I got a lot of kills early on. In this clip I was at 24 CS in 8 minutes, which is horrible. After we shoved in the bot wave, we did the dragon and secured the first objective. I landed a full charm on the Talon, but I did not proc it with my Q. And since I missed two Qs in a row, I did not kill him. Due to a ward, we saw Kane backing. Our clad used this opportunity to set up a great engage, granting me a 1000 gold shutdown. I hesitated because I was not sure which target to focus. I did not want to tank Samira's ultimate. In the end I got stunned by Leona. I saw that Leona was out of mana and engaged on her to get a kill with my ultimate. I waited out my empowered E cooldown to follow up Clad's engage. I hovered around topside and wanted Samira to back. This was my time to strike on the Leona. Next time I should make sure to not use my ultimate here. In this game we struggled a lot against the Kane and the fat Samira. The Talon did not make it easier though. A key takeaway from this game is that I should focus more on consistent farm and gank when my camps are down. I did not record my 26th game. I take the window. Game 27 was a remake. And a couple of minutes later, there was another remake in game 28. We were now at 54 LP in bronze 1. In game 29, Malphite set up a great kill for me. Irelia also missed a lot of farm. I waited for my ultimate cooldown to strike on the brand. Yi tried to recall in my jungle after killing the Malphite. I did not let him escape. Our Tarek set bot lane baited the enemies into a very bad fight for them. Malphite ulted and I finished off the Yi. I also got another shutdown on Irelia. After pushing two towers with the Baron, we got a catch on the Master Yi. Also, let's not talk about Malphite's ultimate. In the end, we won the game. Of course, I honored the set for his ADC performance. I was only a few XP away from level 6, so I waited in the bush to soak up some XP. After seeing Warwick, I knew I needed to engage. I pinged my team to collapse on the enemies. However, the Leona zoned them away very well. Yasuo and I tried to help out the bot line, but it was too little too late. I was CC chained by Trumpers and Warwick ult.
but I managed to escape with 1 HP. <laughs> My Yasuo was putting on a show, almost getting a quadra kill. Just let me clear some wards, bro. I saw the Jinx alone in the mid lane and flashed on her. I did not want to bother with these other two guys, so I just ran for my life. Unfortunately, I had to commit my ultimate to not get hit by the Leona E. Akali instantly engaged on the MF. Who needs flash anyway? Two minutes later, Akali did not respect my burst and just wanted to kill me. So I pulled out the UNO reverse card. After seeing that I was sandwiched by Leona, I decided to go for a quick engage on the set and one-shot him. Unfortunately, the Leona found a great engage onto our bot lane. Warwick followed up with an ultimate and stunned me. Yasuo stacked up his Q3 and went for a quadra kill this time. My positioning wasn't great this fight, maybe I should have went for a flank. Leona found a great engage onto the Yasuo and set follow up with an ultimate into three people. There was no way to defend the sieging enemy team. The current standings are 4 losses and 4 wins, 2 were remakes. In game 31, Yon set me up with a free kill on the Vladimir. I then helped him push out the lane. My Darius spam pinged me to go in. As soon as I saw that Yon died, I decided not to go for it, because it was a 2v4. He then proceeded to help me take my jungle camps. What a kind top laner he is. I saw Vladimir moving in our direction and decided to go on him. Darius finished him off. When Brand hit his complete combo, I decided to disengage and let Darius die. Of course he spam pinged me to do something. Darius really wanted to show his frustration and then proceed to int in the mid lane. Luckily I was in the area. Jon and I proceed to kill them both, granting me a nice shutdown. I was on my way mid lane again after securing the scuttle. Jon did a great job chunking out Vladimir. I just had to use my proto belt to kill him. I was flanking Vladimir again. Since he used his pool, it was easy to charm him. We got an early Baron at 23 minutes. After that, I looked top lane and saw Vladimir. He was easy to kill with my full charm. I was looking for a flank position right before the drake spawn. However, Shen was moving in my direction. That's why I chose to disengage and jump over the drake pit. Since the enemy team had vision on the drake, Amumu and Shen decided to join us. They had a great engage, however, our team had more damage and we killed them all easily. After we secured the Baron, we decided it's time to go for a finish. After an engage from Darius, I went right in and tanked a lot of damage from Brand. I secured me some time with my Sonyas, but I could not survive. My team could finish off the base without a problem. I 
I think I had a game between game 31 and this one where Eve was banned. That's why I am at 75 LP right now. I saw Silas rotating so I decided to engage on the cane. I flashed over the wall and positioned right on the blast cone so he could not escape with it. The Teemo did not really want to win, so he just ran on the tower. Kane must have been really scared to just flash without a reason. Thanks for the leash, buddy. My Silas did an exceptional job in baiting the Kane. Soon after, they just effed. The next game has some intense moments. We are at 90 LP and I get a free kill on the Katarina. I caught the Master Yi doing the Herald and I wanted my team to collapse. Unfortunately, Syndra and I were a bit slow. I underestimated Yi's early damage and missed out on using my ultimate. They nearly wiped us all three. After I respawned, he was still on the Herald and we collapsed again. This time, we did not let Masi get away. 10 minutes later, Syndra and I teamed up to kill the Katarina. After we did the Baron, I pinged to reset. However, nobody wanted to listen to me and 4 people died leaving me with the only Baron buff. I wanted to use the Baron buff, so I decided to split push. I was fast enough to get to the Drake in time. I lost vision on Master Yi and engaged onto Kaisa. As soon as I saw Master Yi using his ultimate, I flashed away to not let him get close with his Q. After taking Baron, the enemy team was split up, so we decided to chase them. Our front line was not in position yet, that's why we had to play very careful. Chogath and I focused at Kaisa and took her down. In the meantime, Master Yi killed three of our members. At this point, it was not looking good at all. I was really glad to have Faker on the Cho'Gath. To this day, I cannot understand why this Alistar took the Blast Cone. We secured the Elder Dragon and then we just could run down mid and finish the game. We are now in our promos for Silver 4. We saw Trindamere entering the bush and shut him down for easy money. I really tried to help my Chugaf here but unfortunately the Trinomir is just as strong with his ultimate. I had to perfectly tie my ultimate to kill him, but it worked. Let's appreciate the sidestep of Vayne in the next clip. I flashed in to secure the shuttle onto the Lilia, and Vayne got the kill on the Nautilus. The enemy team clearly focused the Vega. That's why I used my stealth to position on the Lilia to distract the enemy team. I blast count away for a free kill. I spotted some illegal activity on the drag pit and killed the Trundermeer. Our base was falling apart slowly. We tried to defend with everything we got. Vega had a great idea to play for a catch. Unfortunately, I misclicked my Sonyas before I could get my combo off. I instantly died. My team tried to win the fight, but it was not possible.
Game 35 was very calm, that's why I decided to flash on Oriana and kill her. Corky TP to the mid lane and I used the opportunity to kill Oriana again. We secured the Herald as well as the Drake. It was looking fantastic so far. Ilawi was split pushing under our tier 2 turret. I hit a max charm and killed her with the help of Trogov. Corky did so much damage that Kha'Zix almost died alone through the package. We were at the point of the game where we just could finish. I was now 1-1 one one in my promos and since I was already in silver 4 before, I just needed one more win. In game 36, I saw my bot lane fighting and decided to go for a counter gank. I could instantly charm Kane when he recasted his ultimate. I knew Victor's next spell will disable Malzahar's spell shield. I flashed for a charm proc and ultimated to execute him. In the mid lane, I was looking for a catch or for a flank. I found a flank onto the Morgana and the Irelia. I targeted the Irelia because she was trying to escape. My team finished off the Morgana and we instantly sprinted to the Baron. It was uncontested. We reset and went for the Drake. Since the enemy team was already grouped up, they decided to engage on the Cho'Gath. I bursted down the cane and tried to go for the Irelia next. However, she queued away, so I ulted to try to escape. Malzahar got me in the end. My team decided to chase the enemy into the jungle. I tried to convince my team to push with the Baron buff. They didn't listen. Victor had his eyes on the prize and inted for the Malzahar. That's why I got mad. Jin got a bit cocky with his fourth shot and gale forced into the Seraphine. We secured the Baron shortly after. The enemy team used the Morgana Flash as an engage, which Lucian sidestepped perfectly. Since Malzahar ulted me, I decided to chunk them all out and disengage. Lucian almost got a pentakill. I then had my ult back up and died after being CC'd. My team finished off the Nexus. After this game, I was promoted to Silver 4. Unfortunately, I did not record my first Silver game. I still have nightmares of the enemy Shaco. Now, with 3 LP and Silver 4, we decided to go for an invade. Brand joined us and we were searching for Mundo. He went right into us. I committed my flash because I knew I could kill him. Brand landed a great stun which I could easily follow up with my combo. I saw that the MF had low health and engaged instantly on her. I hit a max range Q charm and almost one shot Mundo with my combo. I smited a bit too early so Silas could steal the drake. Brand mispositioned so I engaged to help him. It was unlucky that I ulted right into the enemy team, so I committed my flash. I was hit by Seraphine and MF ult, but used this as a chance to kill them both. Silas tried to go for another steal, but I made sure to not let this happen. I escaped with my ult. Since we were on soul point, I tried to go for a steal. However, I got caught in the process and died. I told my team to not fight. Anyway, everyone died and we decided to surrender. The Shen was Half-Life, so I decided to go for a top gank. Since the scoreboard was 11 and 2, I tried to sneak the Herald. We had to retreat however, because the enemy team collapsed. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, I love Echo, the champ is so nice. We had no vision on the enemy team, so I scouted a little bit. I was spotted by a pink ward 
and moved a little too far. Which is why I got caught by Nautilus and died. Since Lux and I were dead, we had to give the Baron. I was looking for an engage and bought some time with stopwatch. I ulted it out and executed Echo. Nautilus did a great job predicting my positioning. We were so behind that we could not stand any chance against the enemy team. So we lost three games in a row now. And finally, let's get to the last game of the day. I was just minding my own business while being invaded by the Lee Sin. I'm very glad that my Chogaf moved and hit a perfect Q. I tried to steal the Drake. It worked, but I got CC'd by Morgana Q. We were not able to finish Morgana off. I had to perfectly time my ultimate to not get hit by the Q. Unfortunately, the Sin still got me with a ward hop. As soon as I saw that Samira was focusing the Tristana, I went in and let her secure the kill. I'm not sure what Lee Sin was trying here in this clip. But I must admit that Insect was pretty clean. My fist was crying the entire game. I decided to give him some gold. My Seraphine got an amazing ultimate which charmed both targets. I got an easy kill out of it. We then decided to drop the Herald on the bot lane and let him charge two times. We retreated right after to not get caught. The next few minutes were back and forth, but after I catch on the Sin, we finally could do the Baron. We ran straight to the Drake next. I only had eyes on the Samira. I used Protobelt and Flash to get to her and killed her with my ultimate. At this point we could just run down mid and this is how we won our 40th game and climbed up to 11 LP and silver 4. In the second part of the video I learned that I should not be sacrificing my gold income for meaningless kills because I am losing valuable XP while my jungle camps are up. Also I should not use my ult on targets with very little HP. Thank you so much for sticking to the end. I hope you enjoyed the video.